Okay, um, I just want to spend a little bit of time talking about um, the grayscale of contrast. So just a different way of thinking about contrast um, and how KVP works to control contrast. So the penetrability of the x-ray beam is controlled by KVP, right? Um, so <clears throat> KVP is going to be the major factor um, changing how how my, many of the x-rays get through the anatomy, right? Um, and thinking about how the anatomy, whether or not it's adequately penetrated, is the key to kind of understanding contrast, right? So, um, when we think about a high contrast radiograph, this means that there is a short gray scale, right? Um, so another way of thinking about this is, um, say that I've got um, a structure here. I'm gonna just let's just look at it pixel by pixel, right? So we've got a structure here, and, and we're looking at all the little pixels, right? Um, so this one is is white, starting from the left. This one is um, is considerably more black, right? This one is considerably more black, right? And then this one is like just completely blacked out, right? So this is a high contrast, a short scale, right? We In just a few short steps, we made it from really, really white to complete darkness, right? So that is high, high contrast, short gray scale, okay? If we're talking about a long gray scale or low contrast, now we're going to have a lot more pixels we're going to be talking about, right? Because we're going to have a lot more steps between white and black. So from there we might go like that, and then like that. And a little bit more density, and then a little bit more density, and a little bit more density. And we might have to keep on going because it's just such a long scale, right? So that is low contrast. Um, each little step is just a little tiny step. Each one little step from here to here to here, right, is a little tiny step. From here to here is a bigger step, right? From here to here is a huge step. Um, so let's look at this on the images real quick, and then um, and then this should, hopefully will help some as you're thinking about the homework. This image here is um, this is demonstrating a short gray scale, right? So it has high contrast. So if we're looking at this image, if I think particularly it helps to look at the area of the, the lumbar spine, right? So starting right here, pretty white. If I dropped an ROI on that, it'd be pretty white. Um, this would be kind of gray. I can see an optical difference there. I can see another optical dif difference there. And then black, right? So this is a short scale of contrast. It's high contrast. From this white to this black, there's a lot of contrast. And we got there with just a, uh, a few short steps. So by contrast... Um, we have an image now with a higher KVP, right? Which is what we know about a higher KVP is going to um, create um, less contrast. So now we're going to have lower contrast, but a longer gray scale, right? So very white, a little bit less white. I can see these optical differences. A little bit less white, right? A little bit less. A little bit, there's a different color gray, here's another color gray, and then here's a black. So from here to here, we've got a long um, scale, a long gray scale, right? And low contrast. So each one of these little steps is just one little tiny step, right? So there's more, basically more gray, right? The 50 shades of gray. Hopefully this is helpful.